greetings to you from the government. Uh, it is my pleasure, of course, to be with you here today, even though when I was dragged from the borders, screaming and kicking to come here, uh, yes, I was complaining because I've now got a new job as a policeman of the country. Yes. And so when I was doing my police work, fighting with Bo, Deputy Minister Matale in the, in the trenches there, I thought this is no longer a place for me, but they said I must come, and I'm happy I'm here because I looked at your program. Uh, this morning when I arrived in the holding room, it was my opportunity to ask a question that has been biding me for the past two years. Whenever I was sitting in the Coronavirus Command Council, the most troublesome thought that was always in my mind was with this epidemic, so much energy directed at it as it should be, so much resources, time, and everything thrown into it. What's happening to our programs on HIV, AIDS, and TB? This was a nagging question. And that's why when I arrived in the holding room, meeting the leadership, I started with it. How are we holding on? And I looked at the program, I realized I'm going to get most of the answers today. Uh, Steve has already mentioned to you about the NSP, the National Strategic Plan, that it is coming to an end this year. And I'm sure you are already about to complete the new one, 2023. 2028, it has always been a challenge to come up with a national strategic plan that will be acceptable to everybody. But I hope with our experience over the years, this has not been a very difficult job. And so with our mobilization of people living with HIV and AIDS, I'm sure our programs will not have been reversed by the pandemic. But as the Premier has already said, I've got a suspicion, maybe a belief, that we have got a much bigger work to do after the advent of coronavirus in terms of addressing social and structural issues. I'm sure we have got more serious social problems than we have before coronavirus. Even the ones which we might have thought to have overcome, I'm sure they've re-emerged again, and we need to go back to the trenches and solve them. And I hope this will be reflected in the National Strategic Plan. Yes, uh, I can hear the Premier is itching about the issue of us having AIDS and TB cancer. And I think he wants to see it in the name. We had debated this some times back, uh, Premier, and things remain as they are, but I can tell you, there's no way that TB will ever be forgotten. At least within our lifetime, it is recognized still as number one killer of HIV-infected people. Actually, this week, I sat with a, a team from Volindela, <coughs> which was appointed by the president to review a number of things in order to get the economy going. One of them is the issue of visas, so that, uh, especially after eight, uh, the pandemic, the COVID pandemic, uh, how are we going to kickstart the economy, especially through tourism, international business, etc. So we have to review all the visas. One of the things that you were required to produce before you are given a visa is an X-ray. That is standard 
from time immemorial. So in the review, NICD asked us, why do you require X-ray? Chest X-ray especially from people of other countries. It's so expensive, time consuming, and it, 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 it increases the red tape. Why, why do you want it? And the people who were doing the review because they were not in health, they got confused and asked, why don't you want us to do so? He said, look, because unfortunately your country is the number one with TB around the world. And, and you are demanding people from other countries with lesser TB to produce X-ray for you. So we were instructed to remove it. And I don't like that tag, obviously. That we are number one with TB. I would like a situation where Sometimes at the end of the next NSP, this tag changes because it has been living with us for quite a long time. But it's a reality. And we know it's not because we are cursed. We know research has shown how the gold mines especially contributed to the TB that we are faced with. And as we were fighting it, the gold mines brought another sketch, which we... We did not know about at the time we were doing a development, uh, the plan about TB. They brought a sketch called Zamazamas. So there are always a case. TB, Zamazamas, and, uh, the, the mountains of gold which produce a lot of dust, etc. Those are some of the problems that we are faced with. So today, as we sit here, we must remember that we cannot run away from issues of prevention and prevention and prevention. I was told that we now have an outbreak of missiles. And the only reason could be that during the fight on the pandemic, we lowered our guard on immunization which is part of prevention. So let's sit back again today, think back innovatively, and see how we are going to regain the momentum we already had before the pandemic. Thank you very much.